Whoa! <laughs> hey! Ta-da! It's me! It's your friend, Magic Brad, the man, the myth, the legend. Oh, stop it. I say legend because I've got it right here. Best marketing legend, legend, ever, ever, me. This is a coffee cup I got from my friend Bo. You've probably seen it if you watch my videos. On the Magic Brad Show. Bom, bom, bom. So, by the way, if you're watching this on Facebook, whatever. If you're watching this on YouTube, YouTube, please subscribe. Subscribe to my channel. I'd appreciate it. And then while you're there, hit that little bell. Okay? So, subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up on the video. Okay? That would be appreciated. So, what am I talking about today? Well, here's the deal. Um, Facebook has been giving me all sorts of grief. Not, it's not personal because it's robotic. I don't think I'm talking to real people when I do all this stuff. Maybe at first, but now it's... Um, I've been trying to get my advertising account back. For some reason, they don't like affiliate marketing because of the word. And um, because... Amazon is an, has an affiliate program. Best Buy has an affiliate program. I think Target has an affiliate program. Coca-Cola has even gone the way of affiliate marketing. But Facebook, for some reason, doesn't want the little people, like you and I, to be doing affiliate marketing. They don't want you making any money. They want to make all the money off advertising. And for those of you who don't know, the only reason you're on Facebook is so that you can click little likes and interests and interests and things that you want to know about, and then advertisers can put their stuff out to you. And um, that's all the reason, the only reason Facebook has got all this uh, platform. We get to talk with each other, but I think it's manipulated. That's my opinion, whether you like it or not, but I think there's a bias. And if you think about it, the programmers that are running these channels are able to do whatever they need to do to make certain people see certain things. So here's an example. I'm not political. I'm kind of in the middle. But what if I was watching a lot of uh, Trump videos, watching a whole bunch of Trump videos? Eventually, they'd, if they were anti-Trump, if Facebook was anti-Trump, anti-Republican, and wanted to go the Democratic route, then they would be able to suppress my viewership and my my uh, what people see that I put out. They would be able to look at it. Well, here Brad wants to share something that's more on the right. So we're going to not let him share it. Or if we do let him share it, we're not going to let him know that nobody's seeing it. So the, I believe there is a lot of suppression and all that. In fact, I was watching a video this morning and it came up and it had a little uh, white thing below it that said, this video was reviewed by an independent review board or whatever. Independent reviewer or um, what do they call it? Validity or, or see if it's a true video or not. Fact checker, independent fact checker. Who are these independent fact checkers? I think they're biased. Um, everybody's biased one way or another. I mean, that's just the way that this stuff, this that life is. And but uh, in the good old day, people used to get together over a cup of coffee and have a discussion and come to an understanding. But nowadays, there's suppression and there's there's uh, what do they call it? They call it the cancel culture and all that kind of craziness. But it's happening a lot on the internet, and it's happening a lot with me lately. Um, and I haven't been promoting anything political. But I have been promoting making money on the internet. And they don't like it when you do affiliate marketing or anything about entrepreneurship or a businessy kind of thing because they want this to be a social platform where people just share pictures of their cats. But it's a lot of it is just phony, phony stuff. I mean, um, I'm sort of just talking from my own head, just so you know, this is my opinion on this. And this is totally unorthodox of what I normally promote. I've been promoting how to make money on the internet and how to use utilize affiliate marketing and all that kind of stuff. But I sort of decided that on the Magic Brad Show, in fact, I'm going to put that up there and give myself a little promotion because I can. Ta-da! The Magic Brad Show. 
on the Magic Rad Show today, we are going to be talking about this suppression thing and this manipulation thing and the artificial stuff that happens. I see some of these people that are trying to get views on their videos and they will do anything just to get the views. And the reason is, especially on like YouTube, they once they reach a certain level, I think uh, it's 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. Once you've got that, you can monetize your channel. So the more people that click on it and look at it, the more money they make. So they end up doing just really weird stuff, whether it's true and authentic or made up BS. Just as long as they get the view, that's all they care about. And there's these other platforms that um, they alter your, your look. They can make you look younger or make you look older. Um, they can make your skin have clear complexion and glowing and it's fake stuff. There's not much authenticity, which brings me to another thing. A lot of people edit their videos. You'll notice that my videos are not edited. There's no green screen back here. This is this is a real room. And it's not a, a fake green screen because I'm anti-green screen. Um, you can do that kind of stuff. Like if I wanted to, I could use one of these overlay things like that. And I could um, create a, a different illusion. I could put it in, in the... It's in the foreground now, but I could, could put it in the background and make it look like I'm in, in the White House or I'm over at the Minnesota State Capitol or I'm down downtown Minneapolis at the farmer's market. And I can make it appear that way. And that's an illusion. It's not true. Here's a magic trick for you. Station, uh, this is a, a sponsored break by Magic Brad. That's me. Here we go. See these two fingers? These two fingers, that finger and that finger. They're about the same size, that one and that one. The one that's by my thumb over here and the one by my pinky, they're about the same size, that one and that one, about the same size. Now watch when, when I do this on the other side, that one is longer than that one. Isn't that weird? Isn't that weird? Isn't that weird? So that's the way it works, from here to there. Strange. Anyways, that's an illusion. It's not really happening. The fingers aren't growing or anything. It's an illusion. And that's what a lot of people are doing. They're creating this illusion that their life is wonderful and they've got this clear complexion and they're they're happy. And So back to the platforms. It's frustrating to me because I cannot post on any of my pages. I can't post. They're claiming that I post too much. And I do post a lot, but so what if I post a lot? Why are they suppressing me from posting? Why are they making it so I can't do that? So, granted, it's a free platform. They can do whatever they want, but what they're doing and what they want to do is suppress. They are limiting the communication. They're also manipulating the communication. They're probably going to kick me off of Facebook, but that's okay because I've got other platforms that I can go on. Or I can um, just do my own deal, whatever I want. I can do direct mail postcards if I want to promote my business that way, or I can... Uh, I could put signs out on the street like the politicians do or something. I can, I'll can, i figure out other ways of making a living. And I'm fairly okay financially. It's all good. I got money saved up. Smart man, right? So that's what's happening with a lot of these things, these platforms. Um, when you get big like Joe Rogan or some of these people that have these big giant podcasts, YouTube starts manipulating and and uh, governing the way that things are being seen. And it's evident on Facebook. It's evident on most of these platforms. Some of them don't give a damn. I mean, we use an example like that TikTok platform. I'm not big on TikTok. And the reason is a lot of that stuff is just phony stuff. It's just weird stuff. And there's talk about them collecting information. And I'm not worried about all that stuff, but it is fake. A lot of, a lot of fake stuff out there. But um, where was I going with the TikTok thing? I don't remember. I just lost my train of thought. <laughs> that happens. But there, there will be other platforms that come onto the, the scene. You know, there was MySpace. I think that's still around. What was that? Meerkat was another one that was kind of like Periscope. 
there's always going to be platforms out there that a person can can do stuff on. But are they being seen? Sometimes you need to pay to play. You know, you need to put some money into it with uh, like Pinterest. If you want the stuff to be seen more, you got to pay a little money and then you can get it seen more. Same thing with Twitter. You pay a little money. Facebook, they blocked my my advertising capabilities. So I'm not able to advertise on Facebook. So what I've been doing is using other people's ad accounts and partnering up with them and sharing the, doing profit sharing. So there's always a way to get around all this stuff. I don't know why people try and control things. It's kind of crazy. So I've been going on for 11 minutes now almost, and I'm not going to make this too long. I just wanted to get on and do this thing. Um, if you, uh, again, if you want to go to magicbradshow.com, I believe there's a link there. You can get to my YouTube channel. And if you do get to my YouTube channel, go ahead and subscribe, subscribe to my YouTube channel and give me a thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. And if you're on there too, you can click that little notification bell, the little bell, bell, ding dong. Much appreciated. So break time. That's all I got for now. Let me uh, put this up here too. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? <laughs> Magicbread.com is where I've got uh, a page that I built in my favorite platform called Kartra. I don't even have websites right now. I've got, I think I've got two websites, three. I got three websites that are actually up, WordPress websites, but I don't even like those anymore. I don't even do much on them. The whole blogging thing, it's very, very competitive. It's just a, it's almost too much like work. There's other ways of getting your uh, your product and service out to the internet. I'm always looking for new ways. So if you got any ideas, you want to leverage it, collaborate, we can do that. Okie dokie, Smokey. That's all I've got for now. I appreciate you uh, stopping by the Magic Brad Morning Show. Dun, dun, dun. So if you have any questions or comments or complaints, you can direct them to uh, Helen Waite. Our, uh, <laughs> you can either contact Magic Brad, or if you have complaints, you can direct them to our complaint department that is managed by, her name is Helen Waite. Do you know Helen Waite? <laughs> well, if you have any complaints, just go to Helen Waite, okay? Peace, love, and happiness. This is Magic Brad signing off. Thank you very much. I appreciate you taking the time. Be good. Be safe. Be nice. Be kind. Don't break stuff. Don't burn shit. Don't steal things. Be well.